my name is Mario Kristanov. I'm 25 years old and I'm from Sofia, Bulgaria. Now, you may be a little bit puzzled by this intro. I mean, you saw probably Stefan's Dom uh, out there in the distance and thought to yourself, well, well, why is he showing us, you know, Vienna, Austria and not Bulgaria? Well, let me tell you why I chose to uh, start this video off in this particular way. But first, please let me get inside. It's quite chilly out here. So I studied in Austria for almost four years and ended up staying here for work after that. I didn't do this because I intended to actually steal, you know, Austrian jobs or anything, like Bulgarians are actually depicted in the West oftentimes. I just fell in love with Austria when I was a little kid, and here's why. When, when I was like eight or nine years old, my family and I, we flew to Hungary, we rented a car, and traveled across several European countries over a few weeks. Um, we were so excited about it, but our excitement quickly turned into worry as my brother got sick. Now, it was nothing major, it was like a virus or something. But unfortunately, as he was a baby, he was, you know, crying all the time, he had headaches and high fever, and we didn't end up enjoying our journey as much as we thought we would, even though we visited a lot of awesome places like Zagreb and Milan and, uh, and Venice. However, when we got to the last stage of our journey, it was a small Austrian town, uh, Austrian village called Bad Kleinkirheim, uh, my brother, as though, as though miraculously, got way better, and as a result, we were able to enjoy the the final uh, few days of our vacation and our trip home. Ever since then, whenever we travel, we always compare where we stay and what we see with Bad Klenkirheim. Now, this isn't to say that the village is definitively the best place that we've ever visited, but it just has a special place in our minds, and for me especially, because for one thing, it was my first ever journey abroad, but also something amazing happened there, and as a result, I love traveling. Now what I took from this experience is that you can make pretty much anything stick in people's heads and make it seem special to them. And I believe this holds true for everything, including businesses. I also think that the key to making this a reality lies within the smallest details, kind of like, for example, a piece of gum. Now, many of us chew gum on planes, right, because of airplane eater. So I was thinking, why not give people gum on every flight for free? And and more than that, and better yet, why not make the gum enhance people's experience, kind of like this. It's kind of like a lucky charm, right? The things, the notes that we get with our coffee. Thank you very much for watching this video. As I myself love traveling very much, I would do my best and try and contribute and make flying the best possible experience for every Lufthansa customer out there, doesn't matter if it's their first or 101st flight.